If you want to be a great developer and have a long career, then you need to be a STSMI. What in the world is a STSMI? Today, I'm going to tell you what a STSMI is and why you need to be one if you're going to be a successful developer, not just now, but long term. Hey, Junior Devs, Dev Mentor Dave here, helping you bridge the gap from learning to code to launching a successful career. And let's be honest, part of launching that successful career is becoming a STSMI. All right, before I just make you really mad by continuing to use this weird word, let me explain exactly what it is. The word STSME is basically an acronym, S-T-S-M-E. Now, if you've been around development or projects in the past, you might have already heard the acronym SME or SME, and you know that that stands for subject matter expert. What is a subject matter expert? A subject matter expert is somebody who understands a specific subject matter very, very well. They're the person that you go to when you have questions about that subject. So if you're working on a project and you need to know how a particular group in the company uses the product that you're developing, you're going to go to that person. They're going to be the SME or the SME, the subject matter expert. You're going to ask them how they need to work, what, what issues they have with their current system and things like that. And so they are the subject matter expert. They have the information that you need on that specific subject matter. Okay, so we know what the SME stands for. What about the beginning ST? Well, that's something that I came up with, and I don't know if it's any good or not, but hopefully it makes sense to you. The ST stands for short term. So the whole term is short term subject matter expert. STSMI. Now, if you're going to be a successful developer, you need to become a short term subject matter expert. What do I mean by that? Well, basically, you need to become an expert on your client's industry. You need to become an expert on your client's uh, processes and procedures, terminology, things like that. You need to become a short term expert because most of us work for agencies or some other type of company where you do work for multiple clients and oftentimes multiple different uh, types of industries. So you need to be somebody who can become a short-term subject matter expert on any particular subject that you need to in order to benefit the client. So a short-term subject matter expert is just somebody who for a certain period of time, usually during the project or right before the project, you become a subject matter expert just for that period of time. You don't have to be a subject matter on that topic for years and years and years and years, unless you're maybe wanting to be a, a long-term subject matter expert and you're doing that for the same type of clients, in that case, you might need to retain that knowledge. But really, most of the time, we just need to be short-term subject matter experts. We need to learn the client's industry and processes well enough to be able to answer their questions and to be able to give them good advice along the way. And that's really the main reason why you need to become a STSMI or a short-term subject matter expert. So the first project that I ever built for a real client was an inventory project. I'd never done anything with inventory. And this inventory had to do with construction materials and construction parts, stuff I have never messed with. So I had to get up to speed on what types of things they were storing, how they wanted to manage their process of the inventory, what, what different acronyms meant, what different uh, labels meant, what different items were so that I could give them good advice on how to build the software that we were building. See, at the end of the day, becoming a short term subject matter expert is important because you need to understand your client's industry and your client's needs so that you can understand their problems. If you don't understand what they're going through, you can't make software that actually helps them. Can you build software for them? Sure. Can you build software that does something that they say they want it to do? Absolutely. But that doesn't mean you're really giving them the best solution that they need for their problem because you don't understand their problem. So you need to become a short term subject matter expert in their industry and in their processes so that you can help point out the things that need to be changed that maybe they don't realize need to be changed. Plus, at the end of the day, clients often don't really know what they want. They have an end goal or an end purpose or or a problem that they need solving, but they don't always know what the right solution to that is. And you can come up with a solution, but it may not be the right solution if you're not a short-term subject matter expert.
but even beyond helping the client create a great product, this is actually going to help you as a developer become a better developer. See, the more you train yourself to become a short term subject matter expert at all these other things that really don't have anything to do with development, the better your mind becomes trained in order to learn new things that do have to do with development, whether that's a new language or a new tool or a new framework or whatever it is, you're going to build the skills to learn things quickly. Plus, you're going to learn how to figure out what things you need to learn and what things you don't need to learn. Unfortunately, in the dev world, you've got to move pretty quickly a lot of times. You don't get to just spend weeks and months learning a new thing. You've got to figure out what are the important things and learn those things that are going to help you move forward in your project or move forward in your company or move forward in your career. So learning to be a short term subject matter expert doesn't just help your client. It helps you become a better developer long term. Hey, thanks for letting me be a part of your developer journey. We're in the process of building a community where junior developers can grow their skills and take that next step in their career. So if you're finding this content helpful, would you help me get this message out to more people by clicking the like button? And if you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified the next time I upload a video or the next time I go live, which is every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central United States time. Also, don't forget you can take your involvement with the Dev Mentor Dave community to the next level by joining our Discord server via the link in the description. Thanks again for your help and I'll let you get back to the video. So here's the important question. How do we do that? There's so many tools these days that you can use to research almost any topic, whether it's using chat GPT or other AI tools or just a simple Google search and looking up information about a company, about a client, about an industry, do your research, find out what are, what are the common terms used? What are the common uh, ideas? that are thrown out there, what are common uh, products, whatever it is that you're dealing with, you need to do some research on the front end so that you can understand, at least in a general sense, everything that you're going to talk to the client about. That research doesn't stop with Google, though. That research continues when you're having discussions with the client, actually asking the client questions, finding out how they currently do their procedures, finding out what their pain points are, what they like what they don't like about their current software. All these things are part of becoming a subject matter expert because you're not just becoming a subject matter expert in the industry, you're becoming a subject matter e expert at your client. And honestly, the most important piece of this, just take notes. I can't tell you how many times I have worked with developers who ask great questions and they have great insight and do great research but it's all up here and they don't write it down. They don't document it. You've got to document the information that you have because again, your goal is to be a short term subject matter expert, not a long term subject matter expert. Your goal is to do this short term, keep information and notes together so that if you come back to this company and come back to this project or do another project with the same company, the same client, then you've got information. You don't have to go relearn it. You've got it documented and you can just read through it and refresh your memory. So you always want to make sure and take notes of conversations that you have, take notes of the research that you find and document everything. Well, hopefully you agree with me that it's very important that you become a STSME if you want to progress your development career. But if you're looking for other ways to increase your skill set as a developer or maybe get better at working with other people on a team, on a development project, on a real development project, check out this video here to learn about our Deep Pockets project. Thanks for spending time with me today and I'll see you on the next one.